And hello, Miss Joey. Hi, Nanny. <laughs> I love your background. Thank you. And a big congrats on pretty much the whole franchise. And this third and final one made me cry buckets. I, I was so wispy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're all you're very, very welcome. But how does it feel though? I mean, this is the third and final one, right? This is the third and final one. It's the end of an era. It's so, it's so many mix of emotions. I feel excited. I feel sad. I feel all these things. And I just, you know, I'm just so grateful that I've gotten to do these movies. Oh, I always love your character, Elle. And this time, I mean, she spends a lot of time making up for people, you know, to the people that, I mean, she really cares for, right? Talk to us more about her predicament. The thing is, Elle is a giver, you know, she, she really thinks about other people. She puts everyone else first for herself, but that's the best and worst part of her. You know, I think during these movies, she's had a big growth period learning that you don't always have to make decisions for other people to be happy. Sometimes making decisions for yourself is what's going to make you the happiest, but she's such a good friend and we can't help but love her for it. And I think she finds a good balance throughout these movies and she's just a fun person to, to hang out with. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's also all about um, following her heart, right? It's really about following your heart in this one. Yeah. So I love that. And also, you know, by the way, I love this one line that um, she says in the film, um, escaping reality is something like that. It's nice, but you have to uh, come down from it. You know, yeah, you always have to come back from it. It's, it's, it's so true. I mean, you know, we all, we all experience that with work and with school and all that stuff. So Elle definitely relates. Of all the things on your bucket list, on, the, on, on you and um, Lee's bucket list, which one was the most fun to do? It's a tough one. I, I like, I had so much fun doing that, those bucket list scenes with Joel so much. We had just a blast. But one of the ones that like, one of many that stand out to me was the brain freeze competition. That was really fun because we actually got super into it and it was a nightmare. I, my brain hurt so bad at the end. I wanted to try the helium karaoke one. I was going to try it last night, but I have to wake up so early today for you. <laughs> oh, one. I forgot about that one. That one was so much fun. I have a behind the scenes video of that one on my phone. It cracks me up every time I watch it. <laughs> and shut up and dance. I mean, it's just all fun stuff. Um, if you have a real bucket list, though, which one will be the, on the top of your list for the best summer ever? Best summer ever real bucket list would be I don't like I don't want to go skydiving I don't want to bungee jump that doesn't interest me um I'm gonna say I'd like to go paragliding that'd be cool oh yeah I haven't done that either that would be fun um and now this this time too you're the executive producer right? I mean what did it entail besides making sure that Joel and Jacob are doing their job <laughs> Um, the executive producer role was something I'd never done before. It was very exciting, but I think it was the first, the perfect first movie to be an EP on because I am the demographic and I've also grown up loving these movies and being in them. So who, who better knows them than I? I? I feel very lucky to have such an input and a voice. Vince Marcello, our director, was so collaborative um, and we would collaborate a lot on set. And also I feel really excited that I had a lot of final say in the edit and the way the movie turned out because um, these movies mean so much to me. So being able to have my opinion in there to make them what I feel they should be was exciting. Oh, and finally, what can you say to the fans who've been with you guys since the very, very beginning? I can't believe that we're at the final movie. And I'm, I'm just honestly so grateful for everyone who's watched these movies, who's loved them, who's re-watched them. Like, I had no idea how much of an impact these movies would have on the world. And knowing what it's done is just, it fills my heart to the brim. And I can't thank everyone enough. Oh, a big congrats again, Ms. Joey. I feel like we're besties now. And so like rule number 18, I always will wish for my bestie success. So good luck on everything. Thank you, Manny. <laughs>